Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the edit constraints function inside team design option of a Allegro PCB designer. So you would need at least an Allegro PCB designer license with the team design option to be able to, to do this. So in many instances now, um, the master designer would partition his, his design off and send it off and the partition designers can then go and work on their different sections of the board. Um, and in most instances nowadays, the partition designers themselves would need to maybe set net classes or manage constraints on the sections of the board they're working on. Um, but this is kind of something that the master designer has to allow. And the way you would do that is if we go to the, the workflow manager, I'm going to export partitions two and three here. Um, I need to make sure that if I'm doing this, I need to enable the, the edit constraints option. This would allow that the individual partition designers to, to, to edit any constraints that they're working on. So once we do that, we'll just export these two partitions out. Once that's done, uh, the partition designer can then go and open his uh, DPF file as required. So there's the, the active session. Partition two is the active area that he's working on. Um, so I can then go to constraint manager. Uh, let's go to the spacing areas. And we'll go and create. Uh, let's go and create a net class. So I'll create a net class for these eight nets. Call it class one. And then what I'm going to go and do is create a class to class rule. So we'll take class one, and we'll create a class to class rule to itself effectively, uh, and we'll set a value of the the line to line spacing to be ten thousand. I'm also going to go to the electrical rules and we will set a total edge length for uh, this EC set. And you can see that EC set then gets applied to uh, the relevant nets. So once that's done, let's just do a quick update DRC. Um, we can see we get some DRC errors here. So we can use the slide command with the shove preferred option just to kind of clear all the DRCs in one swoop um, and, and meet the requirements that we set in the class to class rules. So I'll then save the partition section off and we'll go back to the master design. Now if I go to um, the workflow manager again, what I can do is I can select the specific partition that I want to look at and then I've got options here to look at um, reports or constraint reports. So let's go and generate a constraint report. Now you can see this is the constraints, the changes that the partition designer has made. So I can look at, he's made a class to class rule. Um, we've got electrical rule there. We've got the nets that have been modified. So you can actually go and see what the a summary of effectively what the constraints have been modified before you actually import it. If you're happy with that, then we can just go and import those changes into the design. Now in some scenarios, you might have, a, uh, if you allow constraint editing to both partitions, um, you may well have the same or different designers making changes to the same classes or adding different rules and, and the, the scenario that happens in that well what happens in that scenario is effectively that you would then the first one that gets imported is the one that wins 